All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Boss Barking Zero gameplay, and today we have something extremely special and unique, something that we quite literally haven't seen before in the history of Sparking Zero. I know that's crazy to say because it's still in demo format, it's not even out yet, but it's still epic to see nonetheless. Before we get into that, massive thanks to DBZ Skills for providing today's footage. Of course, I will have them linked down below in the description. Please support the original creators because, as always, they're the ones who fly out to these events to capture new footage for us. And I believe this is the same build as Gamescom 2024, which means we have the newly added playable characters like Gohan, Cell, Majin Buu, the Ginyu Force, Ultimate Gohan, Videl, Trunks, Goten, Gotenks, and Vegito. So, I skimmed through the video already, and the unique key clash happens during the second fight. But uh, typically, we would see super attacks going up against other super attacks, or super attacks going up against ultimate attacks. This time around, we see an ultimate key clash. Father-son Kamehameha going up against another father-son Kamehameha. And guess what? It breaks the game. You know how the crazy effect in the background, we get that DBZ Broly dimension breaking? Well, guess what? It actually breaks Sparking Zero. And speaking of Clash, we have the Dash Clash right there. I believe that's the correct terminology. Let me know down below if I'm wrong about that. Here it is again. So, if I recall correctly, it's best of three. And first, let's see if they do activate it by dashing. So, Gohan dashes right there. Yeah, definitely the dash clash. The descriptions for all the clashes dropped a while ago. But let's see if we can break this down. So, we have the circle input up on screen. Whoever presses it first will win the first battle, of course. Best of three, so you have to win two of three to win the entire clash. And Gohan actually loses this. You can tell because of the input breaking you can see that very cool red effect over the screen right there and yeah <laughs> hence cell kicking gohan directly in the face but as for the second input oh gohan lost again <laughs> so obviously you can win each clash segment by you know being a lot faster than the other player you know just pressing the input first or if you miss inputs the opponent will take the W. So not only that you have to be very precise and extremely fast, but you have to know what you're doing because if you miss input, the opponent will take the W and then he'll just need to win one more clash or however many he won at that point. And I think, could be totally wrong, but purely going based off of the animation right here, I think this was a miss input on Gohan's end because not only that we get the input breaking right there but gohan does go in for the strike and so blocks it so that's why i think that's more of a miss inputs and the first clash that we get right here i think cell just pressed the input before gohan because go uh cell goes in for the strike you see that so let's say for example if cell miss input then he would go in for the strike and gohan would block it that's just something I noticed. I don't know if it's too crazy in depth like that, but so won the entire thing. That's the dash clash. Very epic. Very fast paced gameplay. Y'all already know DBZ skills. It's in the name. It's in his name. He's very skillful when it comes to the Tenkaichi franchise. Here we have Cell's full power death beam. And again, the only reason why we're reacting to today's video is because of that very unique ultimate versus ultimate key clash. Uh, I usually react to Sparking Zero gameplay if it's new characters or unique instances like what we have here today. There's a ton of footage out there. Again, with the dash clash, what? That's one, two. Oh, he blocked it. It's one, one. Oh, oh, hey, go on with the victory. <laughs> But I have seen gameplay of... Oh! Yeah, so I mentioned this before, but the grab counter is indeed making a return. Uh, speaking of clashes, we have about four different clashes. Key clash, dash clash, melee clash, and grab clashes. So in order to activate the grab clash, you and the opponent have to grab at the same time. However, if you don't want to do that and just completely counter the grab and follow up with potential damage then just counter it right we can see cell doing a perfect example of countering gohan's grab right here gohan goes in for the grab and it literally cuts to the grab animation 
a cell said, nah, breaking the character's ankle. Oh, we're going for the counter! <laughs> so the counter mechanic is back. That's just something I noticed a while ago. Again, with the super attack, so is just using all the supers, and Gohan went down. Oh, cool, so we have Videl gameplay. Videl is actually one of the characters I have, haven't seen any gameplay footage of. Videl, Goten, Trunks, and Gotenks. I've seen footage of the Ginyu Fours, uh, Vegito, Cell, Majin Buu, all their transformations. So let's see what's going on here. Cool combos, ki Cannon. Let's see the skill set though. What kind of supers and blast one and twos we have. After mid strike, super unyielding strength. I believe that was the second blast one. Dude, the snap vanish is going crazy. DBZ skills is talented. If you go up against DBZ skills and online sparking zero, just go ahead and back out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing, but he's very good at the game. Videl Kick, Desperado Rush for Blast 2s, alright? Same exact as BT3. Cool to see. Uh, ultimate, I believe, Videl Rush. Look, we can even fight inside the buildings. Step into Goku's office. <laughs> and uh, here's the ultimate, perfect timing. Nice. Boot to the face. The one, two, three, four. Oh, the knee! Yeah, this was actually in the trailer a while back. Yeah, it's just cool witnessing uh, Videl gameplay for the one time. But going back to what I said before, there's a ton of Sparking Zero footage out there. I'm only reacting to more of the unique stuff that's happening during the battles or new character gameplay. I I've been reading the comments and a lot of you guys saying, how come you ain't putting that much Sparking Zero content out there? Well, because I ain't trying to react to every single footage that we get. <laughs> just more of, of the unique ones, right? Oh, I thought Videl went down. So she activated her power boost, hence the two power buffs at the top left corner. Still don't know what that three diagram shield thing means. Oh, Majin Vegeta! This is cool. I haven't seen Majin Vegeta gameplay in forever. Recently, it's just been more about the new characters, you know, understandable. Uh, but it's cool to get some of the classic characters in. Well, not necessarily classic, but, you know, classic in terms from the first beta or demo. <laughs> and did they buff Majin Vegeta's character model? He seems a bit bulkier. Or was it always like that? I know that in the first couple demos, it was, you know, accurate to the anime as is. But now it just, he just seems a bit more buffier. And, oh, Key Clash. Oh, wait. That was a different type of Key Clash. So we do get, obviously, the energy waves do clash. Creating this very cool effect, but we don't have the actual Key Clash minigame. Now, maybe because the two characters were close to each other, maybe that's why I didn't activate, or notice how both energy attacks were more of the death beam type of energy waves, you know what I mean? It's not necessarily like Kamehameha, uh, so maybe that's why it didn't necessarily clash as well. Uh, they have to clash with an energy wave. Hmm. Could be extremely wrong there. Uh, so perfect. Electricity effect, very cool. Grab. Majin Awakening, is that a power boost? Or does that just bring him up to sparking mode? <laughs> Yo, the Big Bang attack, you, you see? You saw how it just completely turned? <laughs> and that's something I appreciate. Literally every single Big Bang attack in the game, completely different. No animation is going to be the same. Attention to detail, if you ask me. So here we have... Oh! Majin Buu going up against Majin Vegeta, or Kid Buu, whatever. Uh, here we have his ultimate and it's all its glory. I appreciate the camera format as well. It's more of a full screen type of style. It's not necessarily shaking around as well. Y you can tell DBZ Skills is getting used to this. He, he knows how to record gameplay footage through the phone. <laughs> it's literally like normal HD footage, technically. All right, so now we're heading straight over to the ultimate versus ultimate Key Clash. Again, it breaks the game. It's uh, Father Son going up against Father Son. Let's see if we have unique dialogue. Any, you know, timeline references? Good. A chance to test my new power. Alright. Nothing too fancy. I'm pretty sure that's generic dialogue. I wonder what this power beyond a Super Saiyan is really like. That's very cool. Doesn't necessarily call it Super Saiyan 2. Just be beyond a Super Saiyan. Sometimes they even uh, say stuff like that in the anime. Like Ascended Super Saiyan. 
Not necessarily a key clash animation with the inputs, but that's just a normal in combat key clash where they both attack at the same time. I, I think when that happens, you want to like snap around the opponent, you know, or sidestep to kind of get away from that and, you know, start doing actual damage to win that uh, key clash there. Uh, I, I think we're about to get it. Both characters are in sparking mode. And they both have power-ups. Ooh, nice grab. Oh, that was the opponent. <laughs> I'm already getting confused. Already getting confused over here. It is. Here it is. So father-son versus father-son. It actually breaks the game. Oh, my bad. My bad. Wait, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> That's not until later, apparently. Again, I haven't seen the entire video. I just skimmed through the footage here. And I appreciate the soundtrack that DBZ Skills went with in the background. Uh, right now, uh, what is it called? Uh, it's from Ultimate Takaichi, Rising Force. Very cool soundtrack for a Key Clash combination. Or what is it, what do you, what is, what is it called? Compilation, <laughs> a Key Clash compilation. <laughs> Yo, Super Saiyan 2 Team Koan is very fast paced. This combo strings. You can barely see what's going on. It's cool because not only the stronger forms like God Goku, Blue Gogeta, they're not the only ones who are going to be extremely strong and fast paced. Characters like Super Saiyan 2 Gohan, Super Saiyan Goku, you know, all those guys, you know, the strong characters from the Z anime, they're going to be strong as well and all that fast-paced stuff. So here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Look at that. You guys noticed something. The energy waves themselves are a bit glitched. We're going to go ahead and rewind. So first of all, it's cool how as soon as DBZ skills activate sparking mode, the opponent, the computer, decides to use the ultimate attack. And I just appreciate how DBZ skills says, nah. I'm about to win this. <laughs> Decides to use his ultimate as well. Very first time witnessing ultimate's key clashing. So again, it is a bit glitched. Uh, not only that, this is the updated key clash animation. Uh, they fixed kind of like that wonky camera zoom in and out. So that's one. But the energy waves themselves are gone. <laughs> They're literally gone. <laughs> we can see Gohan right there. I'll try to point it out. Go on top left and the energy wave, it starts right here. The, like most of it is not even there. <laughs> so that's like the first glitch that I noticed. Uh, this is where the game breaks. I'm just going to go ahead and let this play out. The win outro does not appear. Obviously this will be fixed by the time the game does officially drop. It still has not appeared. The game is definitely glitched. We have about like, what, 30 more seconds of this? Just Gohan, you know, he's he's shocked, man. He's shocked. He has no idea what just happened. <laughs> so very cool. Ultimates going up against ultimate attacks. Will break Sparking Zero, but I'm sure when the game does drop, or when the game eventually drops, uh, this will be fixed, right? But big thanks to DBZ Skills. This is it for today's video. Make sure to drop a like on uh, this video here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for the support. Peace!